Mr. Three. Mike, check. One, two, three. Yes, it's working. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection. My name is Johnny, and I am your host for today. Mr. Zorik is not here, so I will be doing the Kids Connection program. I want to welcome everyone to this exciting program where we're going to be talking about God and His plans for us and how we can count on Him. So, without further ado, I want to welcome each and every kid who's watching us online today. Yes, I'm very happy to be here and hopefully I'm, I'll do a good job and Mr. Zorik let me do it again. So, let me take a look at my notes. Yes, yes. So, to get our program started, we're going to sing our song of the day. So, I welcome every boy and girl at home, moms and dads, to sing our song of the day together. I won't worry about a thing. <laughs> in a lurch and I won't worry, worry about a thing, and to the left I'll fly, 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 to the right I'll glide, 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 oh and I won't worry, worry about a thing, I'm gonna swoop down low, low. So now I invite you all to close your eyes 
as we talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Bless each boy and girl at home and may this program be a fun program. And God, please help me do a good job. This is my first time doing it and I'm so nervous. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I am happy to be here. And again, my name is Johnny. We are going to be talking about some exciting things happening at Kids Connection. Not only at Kids Connection, but also connecting with God. Yes. But I want to talk to you about our mission spotlight. Our mission spotlight today is about a far country where a man and a woman weren't feeling well. They didn't know why until they found out. Yes, they found out why they were they were feeling good. So let's watch it and see what happened and what did he do and how we can help them with our offerings to help other people the same way they found help and assistance. So let's roll our missionary story for today. There was a silent killer in Yorina's home. Our family was eventually dying because of our kitchen. Because what was produced from the kitchen was not healthy to the body. It was slowly sapping the life and health of his family. Yorina and his wife got sick. Yorina was feeling worse every day. He felt so sick that he thought about committing suicide. That was until he discovered the silent killer that was slowly taking away their health. The type of food we were using was already damaged food, overcooked and all that. When I came across one Seventh-day Adventist evangelist, and I read through his, some of his literatures, I discovered that I was living a very wrong life. A ray of hope came when Yorina learned of a health seminar organized by the nearby Adventist church. He asked his wife to go since he was feeling very sick. After the meeting, Yorina's wife came home equipped with newfound knowledge. As she made me feeling bad, she started applying water therapy on me straight. What she learned there, she never knew, had idea about that ever. She applied the water therapy, cold and hot water on me, covering me. And before you know, I was sweating. We started having a new lifestyle. The lessons from the health seminar had a tremendous impact on Yorina and his wife. Their yard, which was once full of chickens, is now empty. In its place, Yorina planted different types of medicinal and health-giving plants like moringa and aloe vera. The plants are all around their house. They also take advantage of fresh fruits and vegetables, which are abundant in Nigeria. Yorina is now living a healthy and happy life. He and his wife are ambassadors of the health message, teaching what they learn to anyone they can. They started building a small space in front of their house where they can teach people about health and the Bible. They've also used this space to start a small Bible study group. But Yorina is just one man, and the city of Abuja has more than three million people, people who would benefit a lot from hearing the health message. This quarter, your 13th Sabbath offering will help build a medical center there. This center will help treat illnesses and show people a better way to live. I look forward to a medical center that people will say that there's a health facility. When you go there, all you see is love within the health workers there. There's a health facility that when you go there, there's something else you, you receive apart from the routine things, routine services you see in other health facilities. Please pray for the development of this health center and for the other projects this quarter. Thank you for supporting the 13th Sabbath offering. All right, 
So Mr. Zorik said that we've been counting on offerings from boys and girls, moms and dads, so the missionaries all over the world can continue to build hospitals and churches and schools. And I am so happy because I am going to donate to the boys and girls and to the missionaries across this, across the world. So if you haven't done it yet, please follow the link. Click above this video and let's help the missionaries. Thank you. Okay, so in today's lesson, <clears throat> what's today's lesson again? Oh, it's about, it's about, I don't know, everything is going wrong for me. Mm. Sorry, boys and girls, my friend Paul is a bit nervous. His, his camera shy. So, uh, Paul, do you want to come out? No, I don't want to come out. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to do it by myself. Hey, hey, Paul. C come on out, come on out, come on out, see the boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, so, uh, let, let me, let me introduce you to my friend, Paul! Paul, it's okay, come on up. Hello, boys and girls. Oh, uh, Paul, uh, are you gonna help me with the theme for today? I don't know. Everything is not so right. What do you mean everything is not so right? You know, Johnny, everything is just going wrong for me today. Well, what do you mean going wrong? Yeah, I was trying to set up the microphone, but it, it didn't work the way I was planning. So, everything is just wrong. Well, I don't think it's so wrong because here we go. We have the microphone working and the boys and girls are watching at home. And I am presenting the program so everything is going fine. Yes, yes. But it wasn't. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Paul? Yes. Do you want to talk about it? I don't know. Well, we're friends, right? Yes. So, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. And, you know. Okay. Well, see, Johnny. My life is just being wrong everything's been wrong tell me more what, what what happened what 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 is going wrong okay well johnny you see i was trying to ride my bike the other day and my the tire got flat and i couldn't ride my bike anymore well but that's just a tire getting flat. It's okay, sometimes tires do go flat. Yeah, but both tires? Oh, both tires? Yes, at the same time. Wow, but that's not everything going wrong. No, no, that's just the beginning. Really? Yes. After the tires got flat, I went to play soccer. As soon as I kicked the ball, <laughs> the ball got flat. Wow. Really? Yes, Johnny. Everything is going wrong. Well, but I'm sure you found something else to play with. Yes, I tried, but when I got my little 
my favorite card to play with. As soon as I pushed, the card crashed and broke and I couldn't play. Wow! That's crazy! Yes. And that's not all. Really? What do you mean, that's not all? You see, Johnny, after I broke the little cart, I went to ride my scooter. Oh, scooter! Yes, yes! We love riding scooters together! But wait, what happened? You see, when I got the scooter to ride, it broke too. Everything I touch breaks. I can't believe it. Everything in this world breaks. I can't. I'm such a bad luck. I can't do it anymore. Everything, everything, everything. Well, Paul. Yes. You know, sometimes things do go wrong, but it doesn't mean we have to give up. We have to keep going. Yeah, yes, I know. But not every single time. Hmm, let's see. Well, let me tell you a story. In the Bible, there is a story of a man. A man who... Everything was going wrong for him. Really? Just like me? Yes, just like you. Everything he did went wrong. And he always trusted God. That God was going to help him. Really? Yes. And Paul, what i like to tell you is that don't give up. Oh, okay. Because God is with us. And when God is with us, nothing can defeat us. Just like this man in the Bible. But it's hard. I know it's hard. But it's not impossible. And I want you to try it. Okay, Johnny. Promise me, Paul. Okay, I'll promise. And I guarantee you, that sometimes things do go wrong just like it goes wrong for me and for the boys and girls at home but we always pray and we ask that God be with us and protect us and guide us okay and you know what hold on I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play a song and I want you to sing the song with me okay I'll try. Yes, it's a fun song. It's our, our song of the day for today. And all the boys and girls sing at home. But I want you to sing it with us. Deal? Okay. I'll try. Okay, boys and girls. You know the song because we just sing together. Now, we're going to sing it with my friend Paul. And let's see if that's going to cheer him up a little more. Okay?
in a lurch and I won't worry, worry about a thing. To the left I'll fly, 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 to the right I'll glide, 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 oh and I won't worry, worry about a thing. I'm gonna swoop down low, 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 then I'll soar up high, 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 oh and I won't worry, worry about a thing. was it was a lot of fun and thank you Johnny because now I learned that I don't need to worry about anything because God is with me that's right God is with you and just like the Bible story that we're going to learn today in our classroom that God can help us and he promised to be with us all we need to do is trust him Okay, boys and girls, so let's just remember. Yes, boys and girls, don't forget that God loves us. Yes, God loves me, God loves you, and he can help us. So now let's pay attention to our story as we continue our lesson for today. But before we do that, now it's time for the boys and girls to sing the song at home too. So. Do you want to sing it again? Yes, I want to sing it again. Okay, boys and girls, so let's sing our song of the day together again. Let's sing our song. Yes. <laughs>
sing it with us, Paul. Oh, thank you for encouraging me to sing with you, Johnny. Okay, now let's pray to close our program. Dear Jesus, thank you because you love us. And thank you because you promised to take care of us and we don't have to worry about anything. Protect us every day from all bad things that happen to us and it could happen. Keep all the boys and girls safe at home. Moms and dads, grandpas, grandmas, and everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So, I hope I'm doing a good job today. I think you were. And if I did a good job, Mr. Zorik will invite me to come back and host Kids Connection again. Oh, <sighs> uh, I think you did a good job. Okay, I'm going to go down and take care of the sound again, okay? Okay, Paul. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, kids. Thank you, Paul. All right. So, kids, thank you for having me as your host for Kids Connection today. I want to thank Mr. Zorik because he gave me the opportunity to be here while he couldn't. And I was so happy to do it. And hopefully, I get to do it again. Now, to finalize our program. Hold on. Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, yes. To finalize our program. We have a couple celebrations. Remember the last week, Mr. Zorik said that we had a birthday? Well, after that birthday, we had two more birthdays. So we want to wish a happy birthday to Uxbo. Uxbo, happy birthday. It was his birthday last week, and we just want to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Uxbo. May God bless you. Not only Uxbo, but also Nolan. Nolan turn three and we are so happy and we hope that god blesses nolan and uxpo now in addition to uxpo and nolan we also have another birthday coming up this week and that is ryan ryan is having a birthday this coming week now so happy birthday ryan and to everyone so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Ah, oh, this was fun. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, boys and girls, for being here with us today at Kids Connection. And I hope that you have a great week. But don't don't forget, Mom and Dad, you have Parents Connection this afternoon. Hold on. Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, and also tomorrow, we have Kid to Kid. And in next, not tomorrow, Sunday, but the next Sunday, the 19th, we are going to have a church business meeting via Zoom. So have your mom and dad check their calendar so they can be a part of that too. It's our church, our voice. I am planning to be there if the pastor let me. <laughs> okay, so don't forget boys and girls, we'll be here again. And by the way, remember, send us a note by email, DD Kids Connection at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. If it's your birthday, we want to say hello to everyone. And if it is mom and dad's birthday or whatever you want to say, we will be happy to read your note here in the air. So thank you so much for participating on another Kids Connection program. Until next week, my name is Johnny, your host for Kids Connection. <sighs> Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Until next week. Bye. Hi kids. Good morning. Welcome to our class today. Welcome to Kids Connection. Did you enjoy the presentation? I'm sure you jumped and sang and loved the songs that we were doing this morning. So now why don't you go ahead and stand up a little bit. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Move around. Stretch your hands. Open and close. Drink some water, probably. Are you thirsty? 
go drink some water and come back so we can start our lesson. So today we're going to have a continuation of last week's lesson. And I'm going to invite you to go ahead and bow our heads so we can pray. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful this morning because you are always with us. Thank you because of the opportunities you give us every day. We can't wait to see you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So for today's lesson, I'm going to ask you to do a craft with me. Could you grab something to write? A small plate. It can be anything that's round. It doesn't have to be this size. I just picked this size so you guys can see what I'm doing. But if you have like a small cup or something smaller, that's also going to work. Okay? So I made a printout of my instructions. Let's see what the instructions say. Sometimes I have a little difficulty to read instructions. I know it's kind of silly. So let's read the instructions. To be able to perform this craft, you will need some space. Okay, we have some space. You will need one glue stick. Mm, I don't have a glue stick, but you know I found this glue. So I think it's gonna work. So we'll use this one. Something round. I have something round. One piece of paper. I found a piece of paper. And as you can see, this one is used. So if you have a piece of paper that is used and you don't have a blank one, it's fine. Just use whatever you have. This is what I had. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna recycle. And I always like putting a mat underneath. So that way if you spill something or if you're working on a table and the marker bleeds or something, it doesn't stain the place that you're working on. So go ahead and do a mat if you want to okay so next step is going to be trace a circle in your paper what if i don't want to trace it what if i just want to draw it do i really need to trace it or can i just go ahead and draw it what do you think should we follow the instructions or should I just go ahead and trace it? You know, I think it's safe if we follow the instructions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trace with the paper in my hand. I'm gonna do it in a corner so that way I can use the paper later on if I need to. So let's trace the circle. Let's trace it, trace it, trace it, trace it, trace it all around. And once we're done, Ta -da! We have a circle. So I forgot to mention it earlier, but we also needed some scissors. So let's go ahead and cut the circle. And you know, where do you remember seeing instructions? Hmm. I once washed a fabric that was red in the washer and I had read someplace that if you put a red sock with white clothes the clothes are going to turn pink but guess what I thought that's almost impossible to happen how could that happen if I don't see this if I touch it it doesn't stain my fingers so how come if I put it in the washer with some other clothes, it's going to get a different color? It didn't make sense. So anyways, I went ahead and put the sock in the washer. And guess what happened? It did stay in my clothes. <laughs> so I had pink clothes. It was not that many, but they were stained. You know, sometimes it's hard to follow instructions because we think that that doesn't sound like an instructions that instruction that we should follow. That just sounds something someone made up just to, I don't know, follow them or to do something they want us to do. But it doesn't sound like very logic what they're saying. Hmm. What do you think about instructions? Do you think instructions are good to follow? or 
some instructions are good to follow and some instructions are not good to follow. I want to know what you think. Hmm. Very inter interesting thoughts. Okay, so now we're going to do a smaller circle. And for this one, I looked for another thing that was also round, but slightly um, smaller. So I found this one. It's just something, a cover. So I'm going to use a smaller one to do another circle. And let's see what the instructions are saying. Okay, once you have cut, cut them again. Okay, so let's cut them again. So, some instructions are good to do another thing. Last week, we talked about, oh, I can't remember. What did we talk about last week? Um, oh, yes, we were talking about Adam and Eve, of course. We were talking about Adam and Eve and how they were deceived. And sometimes we think, well, probably if you did, if you take away the person who's going to be deceiving you, probably we would have never sinned. And that's actually a very interesting question that I want to ask you. If there was no sin, Listen what I'm going to ask you, because I've thought about this a lot of times. If there was no sin, will evil not exist? Or will the option always be there for us to decide? Hmm. That means that... If your bodies are blank, no more sin, psh, everything has been erased. So now we are perfect. Are we still going to have a choice? But are we not going to take that choice because based on experience, we already know exactly what will happen. It's kind of a, a deep thought, but I want to know what you guys are thinking. Hmm. Let's continue with our craft. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this circle and fold it in half. Of course, we're going to fold it to the side that it's blank, so that way it's not visible. And okay, and then it says take some glue and put it, and you're gonna we're gonna go like this, so you're gonna put the glue somewhere here so it sticks. So Adam and Eve were in a perfect place, surrounded by angels. You know, God visited, visited them every, every day. They would speak with God. They would run with God. But curiosity was there. Curiosity of knowing what does it mean to understand sin? What does that mean? Because... Let's go ahead and grab our Bibles if you can. And I'm going to read you something. Genesis 3, 7. And the eyes of both of them were opened. What does it mean the eyes of them were open? Because does it mean in a literally sense? Or does it mean in a figurative way? What do you guys think? I think that open their eyes means that they were not able to see some things. They were not able to distinguish good from bad because 
they had never seen anything bad. So what were they opening their eyes to? And they knew that they were naked. Oh, so they were naked, but they were, there was no sinful spirit in their hearts. So they did not understand what naked meant. Now they felt ashamed. Why? Because sin was slowly entering their bodies. Wow. So from something perfect, they went to realizing that sin was entering the world. Let's go ahead and do a small square. And we're just going to need a little bit, as you can see, cut this one there. One, two. And we're going to glue the bottom portion of it. And we're going to glue it one right here. And then another one on the other side. You know, instructions are good to follow because otherwise we're not able to complete something. When instructions are given to us, we think that it's because someone is trying to impose something on us. That's natural. And I, I believe we, we all do that. When someone gives us an instruction, our first re reaction is, I don't want to do it. Think about this. You know, probably you guys don't remember this, but when seat belts started to be mandatory, a lot of people didn't want to wear seat belts because they thought that was not necessary. Now we're used to seat belts and it's something so common. We get into the car, we buckle up. We don't even ask that question anymore. But a lot of people felt very uncomfortable when seatbelts started. When God gave us the instruction of you have all the trees that you want and colorful and different taste of fruits, imagine the amounts of fruits that there were in the Garden of Eden. Imagine that. That must have been like delicious to be there, delicious. And you know what? They were given so many trees with one instructions. You can eat all of the trees you want. Just this one that's on the center, don't eat it. Because the day you eat it, something's going to happen. And you know, from all the trees they could pick, imagine there were a thousand trees that you can pick. And only one you need to stay away from. And humans decided they wanted to try that one specifically. You know, when we don't follow the instructions God gave, gives, gives us every day, God is trying to protect us from something. He's not trying to take away your joy. He's not trying to make you a sad person. He's trying to protect you. And you know, throughout the Bible, we find so many ways on how God gives us instructions to protect us. This morning, if you guys were following, you guys made a really nice craft just by following instructions. It's something simple, right? But sometimes it's really complicated to do. Not all instructions are easy to follow. God gave, gave us the Ten Commandments so we can follow. God gave us rules to protect us. He gives us beautiful plants. And you know, I'm going to... This is my finished project. So, it's a happy, happy snail. 
So you can you can put it on the table and it's gonna stand. It's gonna stand on your table. My my hand is not flat, so it's not standing there. So it's gonna stand, and I'm gonna ask you to write a verse. And it can be any verse that you want to read. But the verse that I'm gonna give you, it's first John. First John, it's almost at the end. Chapter one. Uh, I'm sorry. First John, it'll it's like a very short um, book of the Bible. So we're gonna do first John one nine. So let's look at first John one nine and it says if we confess our sins so let's write it out if we confess our sins what does it mean confess our sins that means that we go in to god in prayer if we are not making good choices the good thing is that we always have the option of going to God and saying, you know what, God, I know I got really upset and I shouldn't said those words to that person. Those were, were really hurtful words. Please forgive me. God will say, yes, I forgive you. I give you a clean heart again. Ah, and then we can start over. So if we confess our, our sins, he is faithful why is he faithful faithful means that he does not fail that his word it's true and that he's going to keep his promises and just to forgive and he's going to forgive us for our sins and you know what? Not only that, and he's also going to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He's going to clean us from all unrighteousness. Look at this. So why don't you write your memory verse and keep it handy. You can write in your book and everything. That if you fail, that if you forget to follow an instruction one day, God is going to forgive you. And the next day, he's going to say, you have a blank new day. Let's forget about yesterday. Read your Bible. Read your Bible and pray with your parents. Pray with a friend, pray with a teacher, pray because God gives us a new opportunity every day because he loves you. I hope you enjoyed this day. I hope you enjoy doing our craft with us. And if you made the craft, please go ahead and share it. Share it in our Facebook page, share it to us with email by email. Uh, go ahead and share it with us. Okay, I hope you had a nice day today and let's have a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, thank you very much for this, kids. Thank you because you have blessed us and you are always with us. Please forgive our sins and be with us daily. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, kids. I hope you have a nice week. Bye-bye.